Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Jose. I'm a part of the Mainland Baptist Church College and Career Ministry. And today's devotional is entitled, Solving Your Problems. Solving Your Problems. The passage of scripture is Ephesians chapter 4, verses 23 through 32. And it reads, And be renewed in the spirits of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. And you might know the last two verses in this passage. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. And let's jump right into the devotion. And the devotion reads, a few, year, a few years ago, it was in the dead of winter, and my wife and I were heading north to visit some family for Christmas. Snow was blowing hard, and the temperature began to fall. After a little while, we began to notice the car was starting to feel chilly. It didn't take long to figure out that our car heater hasn't working or wasn't working. I was pretty sure I knew what the problem was. And not long after, the mechanic confirmed it. Dirt and gunk had created a blockage in our heating coils, and that's what caused the system to quit working. In reality, the solution was quick and easy. The mechanic just needed to flush the system to clean it out. Do you see a parallel to our Christian lives? Today's passage mentions several things that will block off our relationship with God and others, such as bitterness, wrath, anger, and evil speaking. When we see the fruit of unrighteousness in our lives, we need to seek the Lord and ask him to cleanse our lives by replacing those wrong thoughts and actions with truth, forgiveness, kindness, and love. It's a strong statement right there. Is your life feeling off? Are you growing cold to spiritual things? Take a few moments to get right with God today by looking at your thoughts, attitudes, and actions. If anything is wrong, confess it and make it right. Now is always the best time to ask for forgiveness and for grace to live for God. Is your life feeling off today? As a Christian, are you growing, growing cold spiritually? And it happens to all of us. It happens to the best of us. The devil wants to throw distractions, throw some of the most wicked things in our life to get us off guard. Like right now, there's a lot of stuff going on around me with people opening doors, people driving around, and I'm getting distracted. But solving your problems, the only person that can solve your problems is Jesus, is God himself. So that last thing, that last statement, if anything is wrong, confess it and make it right. Confess it and make it right. That verse 27, neither give place to the devil. The devil wants a place in your life, but it's our choice, it's our discipline to say, hey, I don't want to do anything that's against God. And even when I start getting distracted, I'm going to put my mind back on him. The thought to glow is the solution to any spiritual problem is found in the word of God. It's found in God's word. Let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, bless this devotion to our hearts, God. Bless this to um, everybody that's listening. God, help this um, just devotion encourage us in you and stay in your path. In Jesus' name, amen. Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind.